Let's be real, there are a few different ways to see drastic progress in a short period of time. And I say that to say, this is a way, not the way to do that. Now, there's no drugs involved, but I have to give my disclaimers because as you may know, my methods are my experiences, and my experiences are borderline psychotic. I typically don't recommend them to the general public, but they work. When I made this transformation, I want to listen to what me and my friends were doing. I became obsessed with the process. Nowadays, everybody wants everything super quick, super fast, microwavable. Uh, but in all honesty, in order for me to transform my body in four months, it took me two years to get to that point. Now, what do I mean by that? Before you can change your body, you gotta be able to change your mindset. And it took me about two years to build the confidence and the courage to get myself in the gym. I had tried to go in multiple times before that, and uh, I would see people lifting big guys, you know, girls, and I just felt like I was always being watched. And I say all of that to say, someone who needs a lot more work has done it before you, and someone who needs a lot more work will do it after you. So just accept the process and commit yourself fully to the process and you will see a change in your physique. Now, hopefully that'll eliminate the two year wait that I had to go through for a lot of you and you could really make a four month transformation. So during my two year wait, I was actually studying the gym and studying fitness, excuse me, every single day, as if I was about to go work out the following day. And the plan was to work out the following day, but it just never happened for like two years. But nonetheless, I really devoted myself to educating myself and knowing exactly what to do. I was watching Team 3D Alpha at the time. I was watching someone called, I think, Alpha Destiny. Like, these are older guys. I don't know if they still make videos like that. But these are the people that I chose. And they educated me on what programs can work, what doesn't work. And a lot of it is, I guess you can say it's bro science. Um, but it worked for me. I picked... I guess a mentor. I educated myself with them and I committed to their philosophy and I stuck with it through the whole process. That's the main thing. And eventually when you learn your body and you learn fitness yourself, you can make your own adjustments. So I highly recommend before you enter the gym, like get some basic knowledge. Like don't be an idiot. Like just, just look like you know what you're doing. Everyone goes to the gym and sees that one person that's like, okay, like, so don't be that person. Now, another ironic benefit of being so scared or embarrassed is that I got used to doing the process alone, which is why I recommend that everyone takes time to work out by themselves. This is like a battle of you versus you, you know what I mean? So take time, go to the gym by yourself because when I was working out, I was scared. I found like a, a empty gym, an empty varsity gym, and I locked myself in there for four months, all the summer. And I just went to work, went to battle with myself every single day. I'm not saying everyone can do that. That's why I gave a disclaimer at the beginning. But I'm just saying you should take time to allocate just to yourself. Because if you can beat yourself, you can beat anybody. What? <laughs> and in all honesty, like, if you go, if you're the type to go to the gym with a bunch of people, like, let's say it's a bunch of people. Actually, matter of fact, let's say it's just you and one other person. And that one person says, yo, I don't feel like going to the gym today. Like, if you're dependent on that person, what's that gonna do on you? Like, what's that gonna do on your motivation and your ability to stay consistent? If you have somebody tied so closely to your success, to your process, it makes it hard to stay consistent. Try to minimize the variables as much as you can. So if you can get to the gym by yourself and just focus on getting yourself to the gym and doing your work, it makes things a lot easier. Now, like I said, it's not for everybody. Some people need other people to get to where they're going. That's why you should exit this video. Now, one thing about me is I'm a hooper. I'm not a hooper hooper, but I could hoop a little bit, you feel me? The reason why this was the point in which I made my transformation was because the gym was closed. The basketball courts were closed, so I couldn't hoop. And I say all that to say, if you're a skinnier person, you have to eliminate all cardio. Now, like I said, this is not for everybody because it's not healthy to cut out cardio. But if you want to see the progress fast, if you want to see the transformation quick, you have to cut out cardio. If you're fat or something like that, then you have to do cardio all the time. Like just use common sense to make it applicable to you. But for me, I spent all my time avoiding cardio. 
If I had to walk up the stairs, I took the elevator. I did anything I can. Like, I literally did anything I can to avoid cardio. Now, the most important tip, besides having a plan, working out, staying consistent, is you have to eat, man. The hardest part, he like, it's the hardest part. Milk. People think working out is the hardest part. The hardest part is always eating. Like, you have to eat. Like, I used to put myself through a lot of pain at night. I couldn't eat enough, so I had to do mass gainers. If you've seen my other video where I ate McDonald's every day for a year, this was the beginning of that journey. Like this was the first four months of me eating McDonald's every single day. I had committed myself to a plan that like it wasn't healthy, let's be real, but it worked for me. And I stayed consistent. Like when I got tired of McDonald's, I would still eat McDonald's. Every time before I went to bed, I would drink this massive masking. And sometimes I'd be so full so uncomfortable like i would want to throw up i'd be in pain i wouldn't be able to sleep but i still did it like there's no way around it i still did it i put myself through so much pain so much agony just to just to flex on y'all boys you feel me like and even though i was suffering and i was full as fuck like every night make like guess what i never did like guess guess one thing that i never did ever it was throw up because I can't lose the calories. You feel me? Like I didn't do all of that just to throw up and lose the calories. So one thing I did not do was throw up at any point. I made sure to keep that down and to suffer myself to sleep. Sometimes I wasn't sure if I would wake up the next morning. Like that's how bad I was suffering. You have to eat. It's part of the process. This is real shit. You just got to look at yourself in the future. I'm, not, I'm someone that like really believes that like life is really about sacrifice. Like you gotta sacrifice a lot of shit in life. Are you willing to sacrifice your comfort and yourself today to be potentially, not guaranteed, but potentially better tomorrow? Like you're bargaining with your future self. Like you're saying, I'm willing to sacrifice this, 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 and this today in order to become you in the future. And that's how you gotta operate in life. That, co that goes for anything. That's outside of fitness. That's outside of any body transformation. Like you gotta be able to bargain with your future self. Another thing is that you have to try to do your best to avoid all potential injuries and prevent them. Luckily, I am not the type to get hurt. At least at this point in my life, at that point in my life, I should say, I was not the type to get hurt often. And I really think during that four months, you don't need breaks. Like, like you're a newbie, you just started. Like, you don't need breaks. Like, if you got some little aches and pains, they happen, push through it. If you are the injury prone type, then you gotta take your breaks. Cause if you get hurt and you knock out two months of your training you're not making a four month transformation you'll be lucky if you make a four-year transformation in all honesty if you're that type to always get hurt you got to make sure that you protect yourself and do everything that's necessary to prevent any major injuries the small aches and pains you push through it you should not be taking breaks four months into your your transformation journey everyone's situation is different so that's why i say this video is not for everybody the last thing i'd like to say is <sighs> When I made this transformation in such a short period of time, like I went to, like, like I want you to listen, like look me in my face, like when I'm talking to you, like for real. I went to a really dark place. I became obsessed with the process. I really, I literally, it was no longer a lifestyle. Some people have trouble making fitness a lifestyle. For me, it was like a lifestyle plus. I went beyond the lifestyle. I was consuming fitness all the time. Everything I did had to do with how could I make gains? How can I make progress? I would be eating, eating to build muscle, right? I'm eating a lot to build muscle. At the same time, I'd be looking at my laptop, watching how to build more muscle. Like this was my lifestyle. Like this was really my lifestyle. You just gotta be obsessed with the process. You just gotta think and really let it consume you. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying this for everybody because honestly, there's some people out there who are sick and, and I'm being like dead ass. Like some people don't know how to turn it off and on. Some people will really let it consume them and then they have body image issues and this, and I'm not trying to promote that, but I'm trying to let you know that I was obsessed. And if you know who you are as a person, then you should know what you're capable of, what level you're trying to put yourself into. But I took myself mentally to a place where sometimes I would go to the gym twice a day. Now that's not necessary. I don't think that's necessary, but 
I became so consumed with the process. Everything in my life at that time was about building muscle. Now, I was in school. I never went to class. I don't recommend that, but regardless of whether I was going to gym or not, I was not gonna go to class. That's just me. I don't go to class. I never went to class. I'm sorry, like, you gotta miss me with that, with the process. And for that, I reap the rewards every single day where I could look at myself and say, this is, this is more than what I want it to be. When I was working out uh, week one, week two, week three, week four, I did not see progress. Month one, month two, month three, I did not see progress. The progress was being made, don't get me wrong, but I personally did not see it. But at month four, for whatever reason, like I just looked up, I just woke up one day, looked at myself in the mirror and said, who the fuck is that? Like, like literally the progress was like this, like, Two months, three months, four. And I was just here, like all of a sudden. And I don't really know why. I'm sure it's something mental, something psychological, maybe a bit of body dysmorphia to some degree. Maybe it just takes longer for you to see it. But the thing is, people were seeing it in me before I was seeing it in myself. And people were letting me know, but I didn't see it yet. Trust the process and the results will come. Um, even if you don't get to your ideal physique, you're gonna make a tremendous transformation, both physically and mentally. And hopefully that'll better you as a person and you can go on and take that form of dedication and discipline and success and apply it into all other avenues of life. It's Jiggy Hills, man, and I'm out, bro.